Hi everyone and happy World Book Night. I hope you're doing lots of reading and I also hope you're doing lots of writing. I've got a little something I'd like to share with you if that's okay. Um, it's a poem that I've written about everything that we're experiencing at the moment with the virus and lockdown and I hope you enjoy it. The streets are quiet today. Gone are the people who trade and play. The world waits in eager anticipation of being reunited as a nation. But as we withdraw from family and friends, out of love and protection we see through a new lens. We lean on those we hold near and dear. We feel the beautiful strain of separation and fear. To do the right thing, even though it may sting. We cannot fix the situation. We don't have all the answers to our frustration. While some risk their lives every day, many of us are forced to be still and pray. All we have to do right now is take care of each other, we vow, to find strength and joy, hope and peace in a time when illness has yet to cease. Every day is different, yet also the same, as we try to wrap our heads around this new game. Everything has changed and screeched to a halt as we find new ways to adjust and stop passing blame and fault. The earth keeps on turning and every day my hope keeps on burning. The sun continues to rise and set, but those who miss the Grand National on that you can bet. Spring is still arriving. You can tell by the blossom and trees thriving. Sleepy bumblebees wake from their slumber and flowers bloom from their buds in great number. But nature's reliable patterns are marching on, bringing stability and reassurance to everyone. The birds are chirping and the air is clearing. The earth is recovering, we're all cheering. The last frost has melted away. The dawn has broken on a new day. So find peace and take heart. By staying at home, you are doing your part. Thank you very much for listening and I hope this has inspired you to pick up your pen and start doing some of your own poetry and start writing. <laughs>